9. German U-Boat vs. Giant Sea Creature A group of marine engineers were surveying an undersea power cable off the Scottish coast in 2016 when they discovered the remains of a World War I-era German submarine. The wreck was in surprisingly good shape for having sat for nearly a century on the seafloor, roughly 340 feet beneath the waves. Experts determined that it's most likely one of two U-boats that were sunk by British patrol ships in the Irish Sea in 1918, towards the end of the conflict. One of the submarines, known as UB-85, went down in April of that year, but thankfully its entire crew survived. According to legend, a sea monster prevented UB-85 from going underwater, making it visible to the nearby British patrol ship HMS Coriopsis. A story that circulated online in recent years claims that the captain spoke of an enormous horned beast that climbed up the side of the vessel and caused it to list. But there's no actual evidence to suggest that this tale is true, according to marine historian Inez McCartney, who was unable to trace its origins to any time before 2005. Neither the captain nor the crew members mentioned the presence of a sea monster during questioning by British intelligence, despite claims to the contrary. 8. Unidentified Submerged Object In 2014, a mysterious vessel was spotted in the Baltic Sea roughly 30 miles off Stockholm. A photo of the object in question appeared to show the top of a submersible as it traveled along the water's surface. The sighting sparked the largest mobilization of the Swedish military since the Cold War. Authorities were quick to suspect that the vehicle was a Russian submarine, or that it perhaps belonged to someone else who had no business lurking in Swedish waters. However, more imaginative types theorized that it was a vessel of extraterrestrial origin, known as an unidentified submerged object or USO. Russia denied that it had anything to do with the strange object. Even if the country did have something to do with it, they would never admit it. But experts agreed that Russia was the most likely candidate for having a spy submarine off Sweden. Efforts to find the submersible were abandoned after a week of searching, so it's unlikely that anyone will ever be able to identify the vessel. 7. The Bloop In 1997, researchers from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, recorded a loud and unusual sound in the South Pacific while listening for underwater volcanic activity. The team captured the noise using a series of underwater microphones called hydrophones, which were spaced roughly 2,000 miles apart from one another. They described the noise, known as the bloop, as a mysterious rumble, unlike anything they'd ever heard before. Numerous theories began to circulate while scientists worked to pinpoint the source of the sound. The proposed explanations for its origins included unknown sea creatures, ship engines, underwater military exercises, giant squids, and whales. However, experts finally located the source of the bloop near Antarctica in 2005 during an effort to learn more about the sounds of seafloor earthquakes and volcanoes. And that's when they realized that the noise was being caused by an iceberg cracking and separating from a glacier, a phenomenon known as an ice quake. Unfortunately, the bloop is predicted to become a more frequent occurrence, thanks to global warming. 6. The Missing Lighthouse Keepers of Eileen Moor Also known as the Seven Hunters, the Flannan Islands are a group of small landmasses in Scotland's Outer Hebrides archipelago. The largest among them, Eileen Moor, was once home to a lighthouse that was maintained by a three-person crew. It was being manned by three keepers named Thomas Marshall, James Ducat, and Donald MacArthur, who all disappeared under mysterious circumstances in December of 1900. The men were waiting for a relief boat to arrive with supplies and a replacement crew when it became delayed due to a major storm. But when the boat finally did arrive, its crew was surprised that the lighthouse keepers weren't waiting out front to greet them like usual. They were even more shocked when a thorough search of the property turned up no trace of the keepers. Aside from the trio's absence, nothing appeared to be out of the ordinary other than the fact that two of the men's outdoor gear was missing. At the time, it was illegal for a crew to leave a lighthouse completely unmanned. 
at least one person was required to be inside the structure at all times. Investigators concluded that Thomas Marshall and James Ducan were likely swept out to sea by huge waves after going outside in the storm, and that Donald MacArthur met the same fate after attempting to rescue his fellow crew members. But this theory has never been proven, leaving the true fates of the missing men a mystery. What do you think happened to the three missing lighthouse keepers? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. Now, let's move on to number 5. 5. The Shag Harbour UFO Incident Shag Harbour is a small fishing village that's situated along the south shore of Canada's Nova Scotia province. Not much typically happens there, but the town became famous in 1967 after several locals saw a large object descending toward the ocean late at night before coming to rest on the surface, roughly 800 to 1,000 feet from shore. Onlookers also heard what sounded like a bomb explosion, followed by a whoosh and a bang. Thinking an airplane might have crashed, they called the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Responding officers were among the witnesses who saw a light bobbing along the water's surface as it moved further out to sea and eventually vanished. During a search effort, fishermen and other rescuers observed a thick yellow foam in the water. The mysterious substance was never identified, but investigators quickly ruled out the possibility of a plane crash after determining that no aircraft had gone missing. A search for debris, undertaken by the Royal Canadian Navy, failed to turn up any rubble or other evidence to help explain the bizarre sighting. The object was ultimately classified as a UFO, and the mysterious incident remains unexplained to this day. 4. The Mahogany Ship Three quarters of the estimated 8,000 ships that dot Australia's shoreline have never been found. Stories of one phantom wreck, known as the Mahogany Ship, date back to 1836 when three seal hunters claimed to spot an old wooden wreck poking out from the sand along the Victoria coast. The ancient ship was reportedly seen between the towns of Port Ferry and Varambol along a notorious 80-mile stretch of coastline known as the Shipwreck Coast. Long-standing rumors claim that the Mahogany Ship is a 16th century Spanish or Portuguese caravel. And if this is true, it means that the vessel predates the arrival of explorer Captain James Cook, who's largely credited with being one of the first Europeans to thoroughly map Australia's shoreline. It would also mean that the mahogany ship arrived over a century before Dutch navigator Willem Janszu became the first European ever to see Australia's coast. Witnesses described the ship as being made from dark wood that was so hard it was capable of snapping knife blades. Its hull is reportedly flat-bottomed and wide, making it uncharacteristic of the vessels that typically sailed into the harbour. In addition to claims that it was a centuries-old caravel, theories have proposed the possibility that the ship is a Chinese chunk, a crude makeshift boat that was built by escaped prisoners during Australia's days as a penal colony. It's not clear, but this thing could be an extremely ancient vessel of indigenous origin. The wreck's never been confirmed to actually exist, though, despite multiple reported sightings over the years. And there's no solid evidence to suggest that the mahogany ship is real, but this doesn't stop people from searching for it. In fact, if anything, it seems to make people even more determined to find it. According to Australian Geographic, local historian Jenny Fawcett has pointed to at least one reported sighting of the mahogany ship as the product of people overhearing and misinterpreting drunk sailors in a pub. It may seem insufficient to explain the mystery in its entirety, but skeptics would argue that it's more plausible than the widely unproven claims of the ship's existence. 3. The Noises of the Mariana Trench at nearly seven miles beneath the water's surface, the Challenger Deep Trough is the deepest place on Earth. Located in the Mariana Trench, it's dark, frigid, and largely devoid of life, yet it's filled with a variety of noises. In 2014, scientists dropped a hydrophone into the Challenger Deep, where the pressure is over 1,000 times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. The sounds range from rumbles, measuring as low as 30 hertz, to metallic screeching at 8,000 hertz. 
Researchers called the series of noises the Western Pacific Biotwang. Some experts believe that the sounds are created by an elusive species of baleen whale called the dwarf mink whale. The calls are unlike that of any other baleen whale, and there are a lot of unanswered questions surrounding the sounds. But these noises are heard year-round, suggesting that the calls aren't used for mating. So, experts admittedly need to learn more about the rarely sighted deep-dwelling species before they can make any definitive conclusions. The eerie collection of sounds may also be caused by a combination of natural and man-made activities, including underwater earthquakes, animal calls, ships, and submarines. According to scientists, the ocean is as much as 10 times noisier today than it was a half century ago due to marine vessels and underwater projects. For now, all scientists can do is speculate while they work to uncover the vast mysteries of the world's largely unexplored oceans. 2. The Cascadia Earthquake Just north of the infamous San Andreas Fault in California is another major fault line called the Cascadia Subduction Zone. Measuring 700 miles long, it spans from northern Vancouver Island to Cape Mendocino, California. The fault represents a boundary between the North American tectonic plate, which contains the entire continent, and the 90,000 square mile Juan de Fuca plate. These two plates meet at the Cascadia subduction zone, where the Juan de Fuca plate is persistently trying to slip beneath the North American plate. The only problem is that the North American plate is wedged tightly into place, meaning that it's unlikely to budge from the movement of the Juan de Fuca plate. As a result, the edge of the North American plate is being pushed upward and eastward. A major earthquake event happens along the fault every 500 years or so, with the last one happening in 1700. There are no written records of the earthquake, but there's strong physical evidence to indicate that it actually happened. Scientists say that the rock of the North American plate will become stiffer over time, and as this happens, the risk of a massive earthquake of rarely seen proportions will increase dramatically. It's possible, or perhaps even likely, that the pent-up energy locked within the fault zone will trigger what's known as a mega-thrust earthquake of a magnitude 9 or higher. Experts predict that the next earthquake to happen within the Cascadia subduction zone will cause the northwestern edge of North America to instantly drop as much as 6 feet, displacing a massive amount of ocean water. According to New Yorker journalist Catherine Schulz, this will trigger two tidal waves, one which will head toward Japan and another that will barrel into the American west coast. Kenneth Murphy, who directs FEMA's Region X in the northwestern US, told Schulz that a 140,000 square mile region would be left unrecognizable after an event like this one. Populated cities like Seattle, Tacoma, Olympia, and Portland would be devastated. FEMA predicts that around 13,000 people would die, while 27,000 would be left injured. Schulz also said that he hopes the science is wrong and that the earthquake won't happen during our lifetime or anytime soon. While there's a mysterious element to the Cascadia fold line and the type of activity it could bring in the future, experts seem pretty confident in their predictions that it's completely possible that a disaster will occur far sooner than anyone wants it to. But until or unless it happens, all anyone can do is wait and see. 1. The Disappearance of the MS Mudchen Built in Germany during the early 1970s, the 857-foot-long MS Munchen was one of the largest, safest, and technologically advanced cargo vessels of her time. In December 1978, a little over six years after she was launched, the ship left the port of Bremerhaven in Germany for her usual route to Savannah, Georgia with a load of steel products. And while crossing through the North Atlantic, the Munchen encountered a brutal storm that had been raging for over a month. She was equipped to handle the rough seas, so the captain proceeded onward. But during the early morning hours on the fourth day of the voyage, the ship sent out several distress calls in Morse code. The messages were only partially transmitted, leaving their recipients tasked with interpreting them. 
One call mentioned 50 degrees starboard, indicating that the Munchen was listing heavily. Another message received by the US Navy mentioned 28 persons on board, with no clear indication of exactly what it meant. A widespread search effort recovered the Munchen's boy, four empty life rafts, two life belts, and three life vests, but no trace of the ship itself or its crew were ever found. Investigators struggled to come up with a logical answer for why a ship that was considered practically unsinkable had sunk. At the time, the concept of rogue waves existed, but most mainstream experts dismissed the possibility that the waves themselves were real. Even today, scientists don't fully understand rogue waves, but they've acknowledged that the phenomenon exists. As a result, it was eventually determined that the unusually harsh conditions most likely caused a rogue wave measuring between 80 and 100 feet tall to crash down on the Muncher, resulting in devastating damage that practically no ship would have survived. Do you think it's possible that an advanced alien species is monitoring us from beneath the waves of the world's oceans? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.